Hello. Hi guys! Hello! It's the real Jack and Ferg here. Hello, yes We're just is. hanging out in the skate park. We've got our Coca-Colas and we're doing some ollies. And um, we're chilling out. Yeah, so we're in Jack's front room. Yeah. Um, we just recorded the episode you're about to listen to. And we just wanted to ask you a quick favour. We've had some brilliant responses, brilliant reviews, emails, all of that. But we wanted to say this time, after you listen to the podcast... Can you recommend it to one friend that you'd think would really like the podcast? Yeah. You know, if you talk to them about it or you send them the iTunes link, anything like that would be really brilliant and spread the love. Next time you're chatting to a pal, yeah. just when they're like, what have you been up to? Amongst the other things you tell them, I've been listening to this sick podcast. It's funny. And we've actually got something else quite exciting for you today. So Ross, who's a listener, has tweeted us and he sent us this brilliant remix of the Sharkman intro. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to play that at the start uh, um, and then we're going to head right into it. And another little bit of like fan art uh, that we just put up on the Instagram um, from James, who did a cheeky bit of Piss Crate fan art. Oh, we need um, to bring Piss Crate back. For those of you who remember yeah. Piss Crate from the Hallison days of like, whatever, episode five. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you have anything else like that, yeah. send it, it our way and we'll put it on the podcast or on the Instagram, whatever. And if you want more Piss Crate content, tweet us and we will put it in. But we don't think you want it. That's why it's not there. That is true that we sort of were like, we don't think you want it is the piss too much. Yeah. But if you want the piss, tell us and we'll bring it back. Here we go. It's straight in with We Are Science Park Drop a few weeks ago. So it's going to be so pumped. Hey, 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 it's just, just another, another, just another, just another, just another, just another, just another, just another. Hello and welcome to Just Another Shark Man Podcast, your chance to plug into all the latest news, movies and events in the Shark Man film franchise. I'm Jack and I'm here with my partner. He's so excited to tell you all about the films and the movies and the films. It's Fergus. Hello listeners, let's get going. Oh, Ferg, just before we begin. Oh I've, yes. Yeah, oh, so yes. Uh, two weeks ago, I was just on the podcast by myself. Yeah. And Ferg just listened to this last night and he's given me a little sheet. He just wants me to read an apology. And mm-hmm. that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, I recommended drinking two litres of apple juice in the morning when you wake up. Mm-hmm. And I do that. I do do that. But that doesn't mean you should. I know I have a problem. Um, and then on the podcast, I drank more apple juice. I started to have a bit of a crisis and I started to doubt myself and, you know, doubt, well, Ferg, you're always Doubt's saying this. the gateway to the abyss, as I always say. Exactly. So I just wanted to say, drink responsibly, guys. It's an I'm sorry from me. A, a big, I'm sorry. A big, it's a big I'm sorry from me. And it's a I forgive you from me. Well, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, let's get on with the podcast. Thank you for that, Jack. I just can't wait to tell you guys about everything that's come through our door today. It's just some really exciting Shark Man news. Yeah. We've got some films, we've got some quizzes lined up. It's just going to be a great episode. So, first things first. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So, listeners, just to fill you in, um, you heard that sound, and what's happened is we seem to have been plunged into darkness. Um, yeah, um, so what it looks like is it wasn't the lights that went out, Ferg. It was there There were two big metal panels oh, right. on the either side of all the windows. Yeah. And they've just, they've shuttered down. Yeah, yeah, those like, sort of mechanical sounds. It's like the building's kind of gone into lockdown. Yeah, and we've, um, you know, this is this is completely unplanned, listeners, I should say. Yeah. Um, but, but I'm, you know, I'm really enjoying um, how fast this has come in. You know, whatever whatever it is that's happening. Yeah. Um, clearly some sort of dangerous situation is unfolding, but, you know, we're only a couple minutes into the podcast. You're right. I like where this is going. Yeah, and we've dived straight into the action. Yeah, you know, we have. Straight we off have, the back. It's like, we just came yeah, in. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Straight into the action. No faff. But stuff is happening, Ferg, because we're in the dark, but we've got the light of the laptop screen. The light of the laptop screen, it's glaring, and we're really used to that. Yeah. So uh, I can I can see most of the room. My, yeah, eyes yeah. Are, my eyes are very used to lighting Same. up a room with a laptop screen. Okay, Jack. So clearly... Clearly we're in some sort of dangerous situation. Right. It's clearly unknown at this point. Yeah. We don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. What are your theories? What are your theories? What do you think 
the story here is. So, Ferg, this is a fan theory. I'm just guessing here. We're in total darkness. Yep. There's some sort of threat. Yeah. And I'm a big fan of this. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe this is just some Shark Man marketing. Okay. Maybe this is some live marketing. Yeah. We're inside. It's an experience. Like, ex- yeah, ex- yeah, yeah. It's going to be good for the YouTubes. It's mm. going to be good for the Instagrams. We're going to put this on there because we'll have lived through some danger. Yeah. I'm guessing Shark Man Studios, they've done this to the laundrette mm-hmm. because they're marketing the new Crab Creatures film. Okay, And yes, obviously yes. the first... Crab Creatures film that happened in pitch black. Yeah, caves. and all you could hear was the clickety clacking of all the crabs in the caves. Off they go. Yeah. Um. So let's just have a listen now, Ferg. I don't hear any clickety clacking. I know. So maybe I've just made the wrong guess there, and you know I'm happy to own up to that. But if I'm right, I'm fucking right. You know what, Jack? Even though it might not turn out to be true, I think that's a great theory for the situation we're in. Thanks, Ferg. I think it, you know, it's pulling on previous knowledge mm. about the franchise. Sorry, about the real world and our lives. Yeah. Um, and trying to see, trying to make predictions. Um, but it's this is all just unconfirmed speculation, yeah. of course, listeners. Tell us your theory about what's just happened. Well, here my theory. Okay. Yeah. So you've given us that great marketing theory. Yeah. And I think that was a really good it's theory. It's a good theory. My fan theory for this moment of my life mm. is that someone has trapped us here in the studio. Mm. We can't get out right. because they're enacting some sort of revenge. I think what's going on is that earlier right. they sent us a note. Mm-hmm. They sent us a, a, a note in school handwriting and they left it on the desk here. Right. And I came in earlier and I think what happened is I looked at the note and it said, Dear Jack and Ferg, Just Another Sharp Man podcast. Right. In brackets. Yeah. And it said, You are the biggest Sharp Man fan podcast in the world. And I present you with two choices. Okay. One. Yeah. You never podcast again. Ooh. Two. Mm. You, if you do start podcasting. Yeah. You have to podcast forever. Make your choice now. Um, because if, if you start podcasting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock you in this room. Yeah. And there's a bomb strapped under the desk. Okay. And once you start podcasting, you have to keep podcasting forever. Um, or the bomb will go off. <laughs> Ferg, what? That's such a ridiculous idea. Why I mean, I know, it's so me? weird. And no, like, it's probably just Sharkman Studios. What are you, what, why would you think that? Well, because I found the note. What? Well, yeah, like I just said, I came in earlier before you got here. Right. Found the note. That there was said, a note on the table. Yeah, I just expected there was a note. It's called handwriting. And it said... And it said either, don't ever podcast again. Or right. if you start podcasting, I'll lock you in and I'll blow you up if you stop. Right, so... You... As like an ironic punishment. Right, so you didn't, you didn't ask me about that before we started. What do you mean? So you didn't, you didn't say, Jack. Do you would you rather stop podcasting or start podcasting until you die? Okay, um, sorry, I'm not, I'm a bit confused here. Um, so, but but one of, the, so the option we took is we've started podcasting. We took. The and option we've been you in. took, Ferg. But the other option, Jack, was that we. Don't podcast. I'm just saying I think we should have had a vote on that. No, okay, so just, sorry, Jack. So, I, think so you're, I, think, I think you're not quite getting it. Right. So the other option was yeah. no podcast. Yeah, I get that, but living. We are living, as long as we don't stop podcasting. I'm just saying, if it had been a bit more democratic and you'd seen that note and you'd said, okay, Jack, what do you think? Are you telling me, Jack? Yeah. You would have voted to not podcast. I'm not saying that, Ferg. I'm saying I would have liked the option. And if, Ferg, Yep. If I'd voted to remain alive and not start podcasting, mm-hmm. what that would have been, that wouldn't have meant that what you wanted to do wouldn't happen. Yeah. Because there's, there's only two of us. 50-50. So we, what we could have done is we could have flipped a coin or something, and then the future of our lives could have rested on the whim of a coin flipped in the air. Okay. I, I'm following your logic here yeah, with yeah, the yeah, coin yeah. and everything. Yeah. I think ultimately I'm not quite getting it because the... The the, the the initial premise of you would vote to not podcast in any way, shape or form, that's just not clicking with me. So I'm really not understanding. Should we just get back to it later, maybe? Yeah. Or we'll just not get back to it at all. Hello, boys. I suppose by now you're beginning to wonder what on earth is going on. Your heart's begin to race. Okay, so now there's a scary voice and it's going to explain. Obviously, I already sort of explained it. All right, all right. Let's this voice is going to explain. Okay. With sweat. And yet, I'm sure if you were to think on your sins, 
If you were to gaze inwards into your own blackened souls, you'd be able to find a discernible reason why your podcast was being plagued in such a manner. I've locked you in the laundrette. This you know. However, what you don't know is that there is a bomb beneath you. Just yeah, under yeah, the desk. Yeah. You were given two choices. You could choose to never podcast again. Or you podcast forever. Until the end of oh, your days. Okay, nice. And since you've that's started good. podcasting, that's, that's good. That works. you must now continue for eternity. You stop for a moment. You die. Ooh, the bomb will explode. Oh, that's nice. You'll both so we be appreciated. Oh, oh and don't think about trying to escape or doing anything clever. Good luck. Wow, okay. Nice. Interesting. So that set up a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. I'm uh, just going to just really let's like just start that. unpacking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love the voice. Really like the, the voice. The scary distorted voice. Really good. Um, really what what are they doing to their voice? Are they mm. talking in a funny voice, Ferg? Is I su- it, I assume it... it's like a computer thing. Oh, is it like a voice changer? I don't, yeah, I, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Cool. Um I really want a voice changer. I'm why? really jealous of just to order pizzas. It'd be funny. Yeah. Ferg, do you think this is live or pre-recorded? Uh I don't know. It's live. live. There you go. That's really exciting. So We've got some really interesting teasers here. Yeah. Um, they've opened up the premise. Yeah. Um, and there's just... some mysteries, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm worrying about some things already. Do Absolutely. Wanna, do you want to know? What? He, I'm assuming it's a he. Well, you never know. Okay, well, uh, they said sins. They did. So, uh... That's a, that's a, that's a that's very, really hard because... Great Easter egg there. Because obviously we've committed a lot of sins in our lives. It's so... Exactly. I think that's why um, the mystery of it really you know, works. You know... Is it's so hard to know which sins yeah. they're punishing us for. I mean, you burned down Rosa Prolapse's house. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was... That's a sin. Uh, I mean, we're harbouring smog slug. An affront to God. Hmm. Mm. Uh... Um... Oh, you broke into the Sharkies. I broke into the Sharkies, yep. There was that time we formed a mob... And broke into people's houses and stole all their unlicensed merchandise. Yeah. Back well, in like November. Oh, I uh, stole shredded documents and pieced them back together. Yeah. Um, I cut off Chris's hand. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that is a big one. Anyway, so these are all sins. They could be talking about any any of those sins. And so with all those possibilities still alive, with the story, sorry, with this situation going forward, yeah. um, it means there's lots of possibilities and that's cool. Yeah. Um, I think one of the other big teases that's been set up one of the other big mysteries right. is who is doing this? You know, yeah, who is who it? is the voice? Um, who is this person? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's clearly Chris. Yeah, it is clearly it's Chris. Definitely, isn't it? it is definitely Chris. So um, um, just just to I catch just, you up, listeners. Yeah. Um, Chris, of course, you'll know him from Chris and Chris podcast. Yeah. They used to be the biggest Sharkman fan podcast on and, the planet. And uh, now they're the second most famous Sharkman podcast, second. which is um, a bit of a shame. So what Sorry, happened Chris. is, of course, uh, <laughs> Jack cut off his hand. Yeah, I did. Uh, there were reasons I cut off his hand. Yep. Uh, so Chris was obviously our rival podcaster. He hadn't been very nice to us. No. He was also living with my mum. Yeah, banging He up. was also um, my landlord. So Jack got in a duel with him yep. um, and cut off his hand. Clumsy me. And since then... Um, He's got he's got a robot hand now. Yeah, he's been writing us letters in blood. Yeah, and they've been saying I'll have my revenge. So yeah, he's, I mean he's, he's been publicly saying I want to get my revenge on Jack and Ferg from just another Sharkman podcast. You're right, folks. So when you think about it, it is actually very obviously probably Chris because uh, he's vowed revenge. He's vowed revenge. He's got a good reason. For That's revenge. been seeded in our lives. Yeah, we've mentioned it before on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now someone's getting revenge on us, and that's happening. So uh, it's, it's yeah. and obviously he's using this thing to distorted voice, but it's clearly him. So when you put it like that, Ferg. Yeah, I mean, it is probably Chris, but let me say this. Yeah. I'm really excited for when that twist is revealed. Yes. Even though we already know what it is. Yes, even... I think that's what's that's what makes a good twist. Yeah. Is that you can know it's coming. Yeah, and um, know, know what it is. Yeah, but if the reveal is executed well, then it doesn't matter that it's predictable. I mean, you, you almost rather it's predictable. Yeah. It's not that it's a predictable twist. Mm. It's more that it's just been well seeded. And, yeah. you know, if it was something out of the blue that yeah. we couldn't have predicted, like, oh, it's... You know, it's Arnold, the cleverest boy in the world, or it's Serena. You know, yeah. if it's one of those other characters, sorry, one of those other people from the past, mm. and it's like, oh, we've trapped you. It's kind of like, 
Well, oh, sure, I didn't guess that, but it's unsatisfying. Yeah, yeah, Whereas you didn't We know this is going to be satisfying no, I agree, when it's revealed I agree. to be Chris. Now, Ferg, I'm just, I was just going to, I was just going to say, you seem to be really enjoying this. Oh, loving it. And that's great. Brilliant. Um, I'm just going to take a little look around the room. Uh... I obviously fear for my life quite a bit. Okay. I, I did cut off Chris's hand. I was the, the person who did that. Right. So um, I'm going to look around the room. I'm just going to check if there's any any ways out, any things we can do to just kind of get out of the room faster. Okay. Uh, you know, like an escape room. Yeah. I've done escape rooms before with my friends. Oh, right. Um, I'm just going to say it's not, I'm not scared. Good. Because usually in an escape room, they let you out after an hour. It's interesting how you did just say you are scared. Scared for your life was the phrase you used. Ferg, sometimes you just have to tell yourself things and then you'll believe them. So, oh uh, my god, you know, I'm I totally pretending. Get you. I do that constantly. So, Ferg, I'm just going to get up and look around the room and see if there's any way to get out. Just want to check that you've got enough to talk about because obviously, if you stop talking about anything on the podcast, this bomb under the table is presumably going to go off. Yeah, just to clarify, so listeners, we've got to keep on podcasting, yeah. producing continual content, yeah. or we'll die. Uh, and that's funny, Ferg. Do you think you've got enough content for that? Enough content to last forever, yeah, constantly if you, podcasting. Yeah, if you want to Absolutely. Like... Really? My brain is like a mind palace of Sharkman related podcasting content. Yeah. When I close my eyes and look into my brain, mm. it's like corridors and corridors of, of files. I've just written down, why don't we lead with what character of the Squid Squad are you? I'm going to stop you there, Jack. Yeah. That's actually better than anything I had in mind. Well, why don't you go for that and I'm going to have a look around. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. I'm going to start. Which member of the Squid Squad do I think I would be? So I think uh, in many ways, I think I've got the sort of determination and resolve of Barnacle Buccaneer. So that's interesting. I think I share that with him. I think that's his main trait. And I think it's something I have as well. No, Um, see, when I always look at you, Ferg, I always think of Squiddy Sally. Squiddy Sally. Why? why I had never thought of that. Why Squiddy Sally? Just just because she's kind of she's kind of moist. Hmm. I am quite moist. Oh, Ferg, Ferg, if it helps. Yeah. Just do the original Squid Squad. Right, so not the expanded. Yeah, no, no, no. Just, just, just narrow. It when you down. say the original squad, I mean the original twenty-three. So which original? Do you mean the original, 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 yeah. or do you mean like the the adapted original or the extended original? Oh, uh, I'm talking about because there's the original from the extended cut of the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the reboot no, of the original, the which is an original. They made last week. Oh, the prequel. So the sort of canon original. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which cut? The theatrical cut. The director's cut. The final cut. <laughs> Ferg, I'm obviously talking about the fan-made definitive cut online. Right, okay. So that's Squid Squad. Yeah. So Barnacle Buccaneers off the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Squiddy Sally also gone. Yeah. Dead. Before it starts. Yeah, because she's the different timelines. Because then she dies back. With mm-hmm. Okay, so I think in that case, I think physically, on a sort of physical level, I think I look most like Hammerhead Hogan. Mm. No, it's uncanny. Particularly in the prequel. You know, yeah. in other versions... You know, some of the sort of the CGI and obviously yeah, yeah, yeah. it's always played by a different actor. Um, but in that prequel one, I think, I, yeah, I look like Hamid Hogan. Um, but I don't really, he's got this sort of like, I don't think we've got a similar vibe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah I get you. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's like sweet and kind. Mm, I think I'm very much sort of kind of a leader, mm. kind of like a, you know, you know, like do what, you know, good. Um, and, I, and obviously the leader in the, in the prequel, um, you know, the leader of the Squid Squad, is Big Fred. But then I guess I'm kind of not like Big Fred because, you know, he's more of a like... Look, I think I found a clue to get us out of the room. Oh, what is it? It's a key in the shape of Sharkman's arm. Oh, Tony, that's mine. That's not like an escape room thing. That's just already there because it's mine. That's just a key? Uh, no, it's not a key. It's just a trinket. Okay. Uh, I'll just put it back. Yeah. Um... Anyway, sorry. Where was I? Um, uh, yeah, well, I guess I guess the Squid Squad character I'd most like to be. I don't yeah, know if this means you could... I you, think you should pick one, for it. Yeah, you can contribute on this, Jack, you know, yeah, whether yeah, yeah, yeah. whether you think I am actually like this. But the one I would most like to be um, is Sandy Sandy Andrew. No! Do you know I just think he's no, really... I think we kind of... nothing like Sandy Sandy Andrew. But, like, we've kind of got the same... Really? No, you just... Look, I, everyone wants to be Sandy Sandy Andrew, but no one really is. No, but Sandy. don't you think I'm That's, kind of... No, it's a bit embarrassing that you said that. It's is it? It's funny, though, yeah. I'm sad now. Fuck. So, what? I think I found a clue. Oh, great. So, it's this pill-shaped glass container. Okay. And there's a little slip of paper okay. suspended between two plasma balls that, okay. are, that are kind of suspending it in the centre of the pill shape. Oh, yeah, right. Um, and I 
I think we've got to work out how to get it out. Yeah. And then what we'll do is that will tell us a clue to find the next well, key. And then we'll... Can you see so what it says on the piece so of paper? It says, oh, it just says five pounds off at the Sharpman store. Oh, yeah, that's mine. Oh, you could have... Why didn't you say that? Like, Sorry, I just wasn't ago. sure. I wasn't. I thought it might have been like a different plasma perspex container display case. Why have you put it in a futuristic uh, puzzle box? What do you mean? I mean, like, why don't you just have it in your wallet? Why have I put the voucher in a futuristic display case? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't quite understand. Um, because it looks cool. It's cool. It's a sharp man thing. So the voucher is for a sharp man. So it's good. So it's sharp man. So I, it's nice yeah. and it's cool if it looks good. Yeah, it does. And look on display, cool. it does look cool. And and I like it. It it ran out last year though. The voucher. Yeah, but not a clue anyway. Yeah, it's not a clue. Okay, I'll just. Uh... Oh God, sorry, Ferg. I thought it was more robust than that. It just smashed. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. Ferg, are you sure you're okay? Look, just. Ferg, you're no, biting I'm, your lip and it's bleeding. I'm seething with anger. Give me two seconds. I'm just going to try and block out the memory of it so I forget it ever, ever even existed. I okay. won't be sad. Give me two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I'll just get on with So, Ferg, I think that actually, I've been thinking about it. I think maybe we're not in an escape room. Maybe we're just locked in until until we die. That makes sense. Um, And now that's starting to freak me out a bit because I've kind of okay myself into thinking that maybe cool maybe we i personally think it's very exciting but um, okay i'm gonna try and lock pick the door Ferg. how are you gonna do that jack uh with my bobby pins Ferg, which i carry everywhere okay how many bobby pins have you got jack 26 cool ah uh, how what happened i the bobby pin broke i'm just gonna do the next one how many more you got now 25 great ah uh, what happened broke again ah uh, how many you got now 24 cool okay okay uh See now. Oh my god, this is so annoying. What happened? 23, uh, another bobby pin broke. Uh, oh. You know what? That's so frustrating. I'm just going to give up. I'm going to come back. Okay. Maybe we'll try the rest later. Yeah, yeah. I'll help you with the podcast first because actually, you know what? I'm just going to stay calm because uh, if we keep podcasting, we won't die. Yes, absolutely. So let's just keep podcasting for a bit and then, then when I feel like it, that was quite frustrating. You know, if there was an app, mm-hmm. if there was an app that would lock pick doors for you, yeah, that would be fine. I do that, but it's me doing it. It's too much effort. It's useless. And your hands. There's no screens involved, so it's weird. Um, So I'm just going to come back. Maybe I'll have a go later. Cool. But being away from a screen for too long, that's quite hard for me. Yeah. Okay, Ferg, I'm back. I'm ready to distract myself. Okay, Jack. So obviously, um, yeah. the voice is Chris, and this is all being done by Chris. Yeah, we know that already because we've worked it out. Because it'd be it'd be stupid if it was anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the big twist we've got coming. Right, and we know that's coming, and there'll be a reveal. That'll yeah. be good. Yeah. But what I'm interested in is maybe there were some other twists. How twisty is this whole story, yeah, that's this whole situation going to be? If it's Are there going to be twists thriller, inside yeah. twists? Yeah, yeah, I feel thrilled right mm. now. So if it's a good thriller, there might be a couple. So I mean, maybe it's you. Maybe exactly. you're in on it. Maybe I'm secretly in on it. Yeah, that's yeah, an example. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not, but you know, maybe I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. Maybe it's me. Maybe you're secretly in on it. Maybe I'm in on it. Um, maybe we're both secretly in on it. Maybe we're both in on it, but neither of us remember. Right, like we were drugged and we planned it. And yeah, now yeah, we're yeah, doing yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Um, maybe we did it in the future. Maybe we're in space. Maybe when we open the door. Yeah. Boom, it turns out we're in space. Or under the sea. That's also good. That's That'd more really sharp good. man. That's kind of sharp man, not real life. Yes. You're right. Out of space is more likely. Um, um, could be all a dream. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if this all turns out to be a dream. Yeah, a horrible dream. I hallucinate a lot. Ferg, Ferg, wait, wait. What? Let me just get my iPad out okay. of its case. Do you like it? Do you like the case? It's got Sharp Man on it. Oh, oh, yeah, it's good. It was me all along. Was it? Was it you all along? <laughs> no, I'm just doing a joke with the movie uh, music. Do you want to do oh, it? Wait, you do, try, do, you do, do. <laughs> wait, Jack. Wait, you, you, you want to be an actor, Ferg, don't you? Come oh, on, my God, come yeah. Come on, come on. Jack. Yeah. Ew. It was me, actually. No, no, I think you should, like, you should commit to it a bit more. Okay. You need to... Yeah? Yeah, yeah, like, be evil. Okay. Like Dr. Dinosaur when he's on the, you know, he's he's brainwashed. No, I absolutely get it. I get it. Jack. Yeah. It was it was me all along. I'm behind. I'm behind. No, it. see that it. time you like dropped. You know, what like, did I drop? You, you gotta. You gotta. Really... I thought I really pumped up the energy. No, no, yeah, but your energy's gotta keep going. Like, now you're pumped. Yeah, yeah. When you're well, arguing having... me, you're pumped. Okay. What, but then my... when you were acting, you yeah. really just like. Okay, okay. You okay. dropped off. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Okay, I'm so just, I'll play en- the music again. Um, stop the music. Okay. So sorry. So big energy. Big energy, but p- power through. So just okay. keep the energy up. It's you don't have to and and say, Jack. It was me all along. Okay, cool. Okay, you ready? Jack was me all along. Fuck! That was so good. 
I just think you can be an it. actor. You absolutely nailed it. I nailed and it. It's just like third I knew time. I it. You just got to practice a lot. Yeah. Oh. Have you stopped getting so distracted? Here, yeah. let's do an ad. Oh, okay, 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 listeners. So, so a piece of paper has just been printed out of this air vent. Yeah, really good, really like mysterious, and like the way it came down, like shot really well. Yeah, like, really I mean, with like, my eyes. Yeah, really. from where like, you were sitting, it looked really good. good I was saying. a bit close to it because I was taking it down. Mm. So it says that uh, I've got to read this as a punishment. Okay, and that also I have to put my hand under the table, and the bomb's gonna sh- give me an electric shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. that hurt. Do I have to leave my hand on the on the bomb the whole time? Or is just one touch okay, do you think? I think I'm sure one touch is fine. I'm just going to, okay. I'll, do I'll I need to do one as well? No, no, no. I'm just, just going to do one just to, oh. ow! It's really, yeah. really hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, um, so this is, I mean, it's good actually because we haven't had a chance to do an ad. Yeah, so okay. So it is good to do So I'm yeah. just going to read this ad out as punishment. Cool. Um, okay, Fog, play the sting. Can you just play, play the sting? Hello, listeners. This episode is brought to you by, I'm just going to read it now, Ferg. Yep. My name is Jack. And I'm a total idiot, and I'm bad at podcasts, and I don't oh. like Sharkman as much as Chris. Okay. And I'm not as good as Chris. Okay. And I cut off Chris's hand, mm. and that's illegal, mm-hmm. and I should go to prison. But Chris is really nice, and so he let me off. But that doesn't stop me being bad at podcasting and a bad person. Okay, so that's the that's the ad. Um. I think it's obviously Chris. I mean, it's clearly Chris. It's definitely Chris. Doing well, I bet oh. you're wondering who this is. Okay, here we go. Scrabbling to find some sort of sense in all this horrific chaos. I bet you're wondering who would want to do this. Who would want revenge on us? Poor little Jack and Ferg. Who has the funds to do all this? Right, yeah, the this here comes the twist. Right, the here, comes, here he comes. Yeah, he's, bu- he's building the divine oh. inspiration. <laughs> well, it's me, boys. Chris from Chris and Chris. I know. I know. I bet you didn't see that coming, did you? You on your ivory tower. Thinking you're the greatest podcast that has ever discussed Sharp Man. Well, wake up, boys. Chris is back. Boom. Bombshell. Just another Sharp Man podcast is a blight upon this planet, and I swear. I swear on my life. I will not rest until you are destroyed. Anyway. Best of luck with the rest of the podcasting boys. Hey, you know I saw that coming. Yeah, but it was still really satisfying yep. and good. You're so right. You're it was so, right. so it was so well paced. It's it was almost really like well better that you knew it was coming. Exactly. Because yeah. then you can appreciate how how it's revealed. Yeah, yeah. Rather than just like really, being shocked or something, you know. Really well structured. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. That was really well executed, Chris. Well done, Chris. Well done, Chris. I always knew that Chris was good at podcasts, but I didn't know he was so good at torture machines. Yeah. Which is just like so this cool. whole locked room thing, yeah, yeah. and like the tension, and like the pacing, and the like the th- you know, the sort of the themes of it of like revenge, and like it's it's, it's really coming together. It's keep really talking, good. keep talking, folks. I've just got a burst of energy, so I'm just gonna try, uh, try the unlocking the door again. Okay, you go do that, Jack. And so, listeners, I'm really enjoying myself. Like I think, I think, I think Chris is doing a really good job here. I think the tension's really ramping up. I think you know the elements will come in. We started the podcast. Um, we got locked in. It was revealed what was going on. We had the mysterious voice seeding what was going to happen, um, what sins we were paying for, all this, and it's been building. And I think, you know what, actually, I think, obviously, we've we've spitballed what twists there might be, um, that it could be one of us in on it, something like that. But I think it's not necessarily going to be a like a, like, like a twist, but I think something big is going to happen. And I'm really excited for something big to happen, um, something unexpected, uh, and I think it's going to be um, sort of, sort of, sort of, um, potentially a conclusion, but in a way, maybe it's also setting up further things to happen. Fuck, I've got the door open. Brilliant. I'm just going to open it now. Yep. Oh, hello. Why are you carrying that gun? Oh my God, Jack's no. been shot. Jack. Oh. Jack. Oh my God. So a hand just came out of the darkness and dragged Jack out the door and... Uh, listeners. Um, so Jack opened the door and then he was shot and he died. And then, and then a hand darted out and pulled him out of the door and locked the door again. Jack's dead, listeners. Oh my God, that's a really good twist. 
I really was I really wasn't expecting that. They we they fully killed off Jack, my friend and 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 co-host. Wow, killed off Jack. Still stuck in this room, so it's like not a full conclusion because obviously I'm still going, and that's cool. Um, I'm just going to keep podcasting now. I'm just going to keep here in this locked room, podcasting constantly forever until I die from exhaustion or this bomb blows me up. Obviously, I'm feeling pretty bad about Jack, but I must say, I'd be lying if I'd say I wasn't excited to keep podcasting forever. So, you know, rest in peace, Jack. Uh, Let's get to it. Uh, Where was I? Yes. So, which Squid Squad character am I? Now, what I think is important to take into account here, actually. To be continued. This has been Just Another Shark Man podcast, starring Jack Bradfield as Jack, Fergus MacDonald as Fergus, and Richard Yule as Chris. Music and editing by Fergus MacDonald. Artwork by Neve Simpson. Tune in again for more Sharkman news tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. And.